Alrighty, let's get cracking. That is not a good green screen setup. Look at that. It's there. That looks fine to me. I'm gonna adjust it. Let's see. Guess it's just the tension in the screen. Causing little wrinkles and such. That's no good. Hmm. Probably just shouldn't have moved it at all. It's just making it worse. Is that better? Uh, it's still annoying, but it'll have to do for now. Hey, I really liked your little parallax intro screen there. Thank you, Potku. I really appreciate it. It's from a game called Tally that I never finished, frustratingly enough. I'm a big fan of it. It was a really good game, but. Um, for various reasons we never finished it but at least it lives on in an awesome intro screen and be right back screen and thank you for watching screen alrighty let us begin Hello Rube, how are you doing today? yourself. I'm excellent. I was very productive this morning writing lots of dialogue, so I'm pleased with that. Good progress. It's taking a while to build there. Right. Okay, we good. Did you use the ill-fated labels? No, I'm resisting it currently. I probably, like, I'll think about it for next project, probably. Uh, currently, it would take too much reworking of what is already a very cluttered Trello board. Um, cluttered with some method to the insanity, I might add, but yeah. I think it's overkill currently. This is all the dialogue I wrote this morning. This nice mess of spaghetti. Just select everything and move it a little bit. Trello's handy for keeping your clutter organized. That is true. So for context, um, this is my Trello board and uh, Rialaro, who's in chat sometimes, he tried to push me into using labels and he made a very good case for it, uh, but it was not as good as the quality of my stubbornness. So I said, no, I'm not gonna do it right now. Um, I, I do see the merits in labels, but currently this is I, I, I know what's going on here. It's organized enough for me, so I don't want to spend the time to go through all these things and label them when I know what they are. For the next project, maybe. Right now, no.
I'm just going to create the graphics for this NPC. Drag them in over here. Normally I would search and replace this bit, but since it's just four images, it's probably just as quick to do it this way. Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. If I'm saying your name wrong, please feel free to correct me. Okay, so that should be the character created. I'm just going to add them to the actual map as well. map looks way smaller. That sounded pretty much right. Nice. That's cool. I do care about how I pronounce people's names, but it's tricky sometimes. Um, yeah, I mean this is zoomed out, but I just... So this is the scale in game. Yeah, I guess when you have to walk around that, it feels bigger. And you've got the background in there as well. Which broken I've never seen you below 10 viewers it happens it happens um, it's it has been slow recently but I did just start so seeing a lot of cool stuff here love the pixel art and everything instead of complimenting every single thing individually I figure figured I'd say the whole thing is looking great well thank you very much I really appreciate that um, I mean feel free to compliment everything individually I'm kidding but no that's that's really cool thank you and Hudeless, good to see ya. Um, yeah, it has been slow recently, but I did just start streaming moments ago, so. But I have been, um, recently I've been uh, guilty of kind of not talking too much. You actually do really good, Hudeless, when you stream. Um, I just, I, I struggle sometimes with narrating what I'm doing, and you do it really well. Just recently made the switch to science and technology. Were you using Unreal Engine or something before? I would imagine science and tech would give you more viewers. Can't get out of the bottom of the category. Oh, really? I did find that I was I felt weird about pushing uh, stream announcements on my Discord. Because I didn't want to annoy people with the tag, um, but I figure people will just mute it if they get annoyed by it. And some people actually want to be told when the stream starts, so I, you know, I guess it's just something that I just have to get over feeling awkward about um, pushing myself. But anyway, what I'm saying is that when I started pushing my uh, stream on Discord, I found that usually a couple of people pop in straight away. And that really helps uh, get new viewers in because it just immediately bumps you from the bottom of the category, which is really good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I pulled my viewer base and I got legitimately a 52-48% split on uh, whether you whether people like the announcement or not. 52% one alerts. There you go. Clear cut. We have gotta do it. It's a public service. But I figured the ones that don't like it, I don't like it from anybody. Uh, so I just mute um, global notifications for every Discord I join. That's it. I honestly listen to Twitch alerts. Discord I used to check why well, you haven't been streaming or if you will be upcoming. That's cool. <laughs> hey Big Mac. How you doing today? Yeah, I do. I listen to Twitch alerts, but that's because I disable Twitch alerts for people I don't really watch that often. So I only have like two or three alerts on. So again, it doesn't crowd me. Cool room. Yeah, this is going to be a, a very cool room. Uh, actually kind of turning into a very minor boss fight um, which I didn't plan on but it kind of just evolved into it so why not took the weekend off this weekend we'll be curious when I turn on today wonder if people are okay with time off like that I think so I find now I'm gonna go in full time I find people don't get mad, people stop coming in as much, perhaps, if you don't stream as regularly, which is fine. Uh, I do worry sometimes when people sub, how they're going to feel like if you're not there. Again, I don't think I'm big enough that people get like mad that I'm not streaming. I think most people that sub just do it to support, so um, I'm, so far I've not bumped into any problems with it. I've been streaming Monday to Friday with my hours are weird. I don't have a set schedule. I had it before, but uh, I don't like it. It's regulating my hours. Um, yeah, I think there is a benefit to having a schedule, but my Twitch streams are secondary to development. I see it in there. So I do need to focus on that first. That comes first, obviously. Um. Oh, I didn't, I didn't update the map, obviously. No pressure at all on the sub front, it's a support effort on my part. Cool, that's the impression I got, so thank you, Big Mac. In other news, I might actually have a financial backer, nice! Like an investor. That's awesome. How did you how did you swing that? So I actually want this to be yeah, I want it to be way closer, like half the click range. I am by hey Kayla. Bye Kayla. Good to see you very briefly. They approached me from my stream, nice. Nobody approaches me on my stream. Um, right, so we need to set him up as a character. Twitch just added an option to sort streams from low to high viewer accounts, so that should help people get started, hopefully. Now that's interesting. Does that carry over page to page? Or is that, like, do you have to do that? every time you open a page. I'm just thinking like sometimes, I'm like this is, I wonder if anyone will ever use it. Man, I, I figure if you want to use it, you it's quite easy to scroll down already, isn't it? Like you just hit page down or end row. Um, I'm just, some sometimes people that should be higher up sit there a lot of times. It sounds really judgmental, but a lot of, a lot of streams that are down there kind of whether lack of development or whatever kind of needs to be down there. Um, I was there like with with like a horrible mic quality and stuff like that. It just wasn't watchable. You just need to develop. 
Anyway, I don't want to, I don't want to delve too deep into that because that's super negative. All right, we need to set up a little controller. Anyway, my point was that while that's a cool idea, I think people that want to support um, low viewer channels can already do it, and I don't think it's difficult. Here's the quests page. I'm gonna be on dialogues. See, the thing for me was, I typically had 70% of UE's categories viewers when I streamed there regularly. Now that I've moved to science and tech, my average, average viewer is lower, but my potential viewer count has grown. It's demoralizing, but not at the same time. Yeah, I see. That's true, it's mostly just a quality of life thing. It does seem to carry over once you've changed the sorting option. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, you know what, I do, see, I do see a merit for it. I quite often, like some of my ideal streams to watch are not at the very bottom, definitely not the top either. Somewhere like in the middle, I think, because it's more it's more personal, but not like polished to the point that it's lacking all char character. But also, it doesn't suffer from like massive quality of life issues, like bad audio or no mic or whatever. So. I don't think it. I don't think it'll be a negative thing. So. Something that does grind my gears is when people have used the wrong label, I think that's what, or tag or whatever. Um, there are people, it's a very common um, misunderstanding that game development means um, practice or, you know, skill increase rather than making games. So a lot of times there's a lot of um, gamer streams going on in game development and that that really bugs me because oftentimes they're pretty good streams so they have quite high rankings on the page which pushes down legitimate game devs. 3D modeling is also not game development. I'll forgive that because I kind of um, I probably screw that up myself because I like I've tagged this as pixel art. It is pixel art. I'm not working on pixel art. I've asked I've asked a couple of times and nobody's ever yelled yelled at me for it. But I'm like not sure. I I okay, you you might think it doesn't fit. I I wouldn't be mad at anyone for putting doing 3D modeling in game dev personally. I guess that highlights the issue. Although nobody could nobody could claim that um, practicing a game is game development. I don't think. I'm very salty today. I don't, I don't feel salty. Aren't we all? <laughs> um, so this wizard guy, I'm making um, a pretty, I think a pretty overt reference, but I don't know how many people know the reference I'm making. So you start talking to the guy and he just looks crazy. And then when you start talking to him, he says, yes indeed, pure pleasure. That is what knowledge brings. Ah, crass. 
Your UI animations are so effing good. Thanks, man. Welcome, Crass. Hello, Yag. Evil Dust Might, Tale of Four Gamers. Everybody check out my buddy Crass's Steam. Steam? Stream? And Steam. What up? Hey, man. How was your stream? I only stopped by for like two minutes. I needed to go have lunch, and I have very long lunches, because I'm a lady of luxury. Hello, Lucas. Yeah, Heedless, I've, uh, I, I, it was actually this weekend I worked on polishing the menus. I'm so happy with the UI now. It's so good. So like, settings menu comes in like this. It was awesome, got a lot done, and now covered in kids. <laughs> Yay. Lady? Yep. Lady of leisure, that's me. So I couldn't keep going, fair enough. That's the quest menu. This is the world map, which is one of my favorites because the pins pop up randomly at different points. I think that's really cool. Uh, the world map background is a placeholder. It's going to be the actual game's world map later on. And then um, let me take you to the checkpoints where we have inventory and uh, magic attunement, which are two other menus. So this one is pretty standard, also just animates in like that. And the inventory animates in the same way the world map does with the with the equipment kind of wobbling in like that. Super happy with it. World map has that earth vibe going, right? Well, we're definitely going to change that. I thought about doing an expand or a slide in animation for my Windows 2, but I feel like it would get annoying because I don't have full screen windows like that. It's gorgeous on your game. Thank you very much. Um, I wasn't sure it would work either, but I think it does. And the animations are really easy in default. I'm sure they are in other engines as well, but it was just a piece of cake to do it, so I put it in. Anyway, the world map will look more... I only have a node-based world map currently. Looks something like this. But basically, it'll be a hell of a lot more co colorful than the placeholder because we've got all these different areas to go to. Uh, I've actually sketched this out on paper, just from memory, and it looks is going to look pretty cool. I think quite a lot to explore, which I like. I think I'm going to like show the world map, and then you just unlock the pins as you go. But yeah, it's going to be it's going to be cool. Yeah, for sure, Having uh, adding sound effects and UI animations has made dialogue feel way better, which I'm super pleased about. It's cool. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm perplexed at that line, suicide. It's, uh, it's, it was an NPC, I don't think that's gonna go in. It's an NPC that asks you to kill him. It's pretty dark, but basically, um, just, I think he, he, he'd have lost his family or something, and then uh, you could kill him. And that wouldn't do anything unless you waited till later. But I don't think I'm putting it in. The, the game does have slightly dark um, themes at times, but that would, that would have been the darkest one by far. So, and I felt it was a bit out of keeping with the rest of the tone, so I'm probably not adding it. Years ago I did a short film and thought it would be the coolest to not have any music. Ended up tossing in some for the credits and realized how much texture I missed out on without it. For sure. So I added sound effects. We've got ambient um, sounds in every area. So music is going to come in um, every... There's going to be basically a block of music, a little bit of silence, and then a bit of music again. The silence isn't going to actually be silence, it's going to have a very low-key ambient track underneath it, whether that's wind or birds chirping or um, a kind of drone, like it's going to be in this area, and then this music comes in. So it kind of, it's to, to, to kind of give a like little peaks and troughs thing, rather than playing music all the time. Does this uh, add so much impact interaction? Absolutely. I think Skyrim had a similar quest. There was an orc who got exiled from his group or something and he said he wants to die the might of your characters in honor to his tribe. Oblivion, the that was the Colosseum, the fighter thing. 
it was weird though because it was anticlimactic. Like they built up the whole. If you're fighting loads of people to get up to have a fight against the top guy, and then in the end he was just like, "Oh, I want to die. Just hit me," and he didn't fight back. Like I think I get their. I think I get their idea, but it kind of missed the mark. There were those fire cultists in Borderlands 2 that wanted to burn them to death, return to their fire god. Yep, I remember those. Um, and the shoot me in the face guy also in Borderlands 2. Shoot me in the face, in the face! Uh, see, if you, see if anyone knows this reference, it's pretty vague and I'll tell you now that I've rewritten. Basically this guy is going to, he's going to make quotes from a movie, but I've changed it a little bit to fit Fates of War a bit more and make it not as overt, overt a reference. I'll be impressed if anyone knows, I don't think you'll know. So this is just kind of introducing him and then you say something to him. He says, yes indeed, pure pleasure, that is what knowledge brings. Even the seven alchemists battling the space monster found it and so did the whirlwind of the discarded parchment. Vibrant colors painting in my head and I like it. I don't support wilting lilies and those snobby little pirates that sit there twitching and my position on that is common knowledge to everyone in Ort. Now the time has come to return to the wild old roots where separated children fall like stardust and everyone is shaking around the howling gates with the master leading the festival. Anyone who is concerned about rotten consumption, step aside now. No one gets in the way of my unbridled glory. Now I am truly grand, the ultimate one. And then it just loops like that until you slap him. If anyone knows that, you get a cookie. But I don't think, I think it's probably the rewrite is so significant that you probably wouldn't be able to connect it. So that was the NPC, that's another tick. Got nothing. It's an anime. <laughs> Don't watch many fancy type movies, so yeah, I probably wouldn't get it. An anime? Is it from Full Metal? No, it is not. It's a movie. I don't know if Full Metal was made into a movie. I watched Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I really liked it. Clueless, I'm afraid. Uh, it's from a movie called Paprika. If you haven't seen it, uh, I very much recommend it. It's extremely trippy. So if you like trippy, dreamy stuff, then I really recommend it. If that's not your bag, then don't watch it. That movie's good. Yeah, I really like it. Crazy clowns, dolls, and paprika that melt. Yeah, I suppose that you kind of need a trigger warning, right? If you've got clown phobia or doll phobia, then don't watch it either. Netflix made a live action Full Metal Alchemist movie, it's not bad. Huh, I didn't realize. Made a live action Bleach movie as well, also pretty good. They seem to be in parts, so I'm waiting for the next in the series for both of them. I haven't watched Bleach. Uh, actually, I actually haven't watched much anime in general. Uh, I like it, but I haven't watched much of it. I've watched a couple of Studio Ghibli movies Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Paprika, um, Ergo Proxy. That was really good, but super confusing. 
I read the I read like an analysis of it after I finished it and I was like I didn't understand half the things that show was about. <laughs> but it was good, like I really enjoyed it. Like fancy type role playing games, Sword, Sword Art Online and Log Horizon are pretty good enemies. I've never actually watched either of those or heard of them. I don't know if I like fancy type. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. If you like fancy type role playing games, so, right. I don't think I've watched any fancy type animes. I watched Netflix recommended something called like The Seven Sins. It was absolutely ridiculous. It was like so. Uh, it was yeah. I, I I googled it afterwards, and it's apparently some kind of genre of anime um, targeted at teenage boys, and you could tell because it was like it had lots of violence and stuff, and then also just like it was like so crude sexually. It was crazy. I was like shocked that Netflix had it. Like I read the um, I read the description of it, and I really liked. Like I was like, well, "This sounds really good," and it, I hated it. <laughs> hey, Azrael, how you doing? Done any work for the game creators? Hey, painkiller? No, I'm not aware of what that is. Move room, room. Good thanks. Semi productive morning. Random searching of what some other devs have been making in Godot for some inspiration. That's cool. Did you find anything good? seen that before. Thank you there. That's promising as many devs said that 3D in Godot wasn't wasn't worth trying really. Um, I saw someone was, who was developing a 3D game in Godot. Scott, Scott Makes Games, I think he's called. I haven't seen him on Twitch in ages, but he seemed not to have any trouble at all. Still waiting on Cal Godot. Hmm. 
No problem, I was just wondering if you worked with Lee. Um, what, what made you think I did? Right, let's see how this works. You work with Lua. Ah, I see. Lua is good. Where did you go? Did you bug out? Time to index a nil value. Oh, I didn't add the quest. That's fair enough. Fixed all that yesterday because I'm a genius. Should take care of the problem. Oh, there, Phil. Let's give you a slap. these dialog options figured out by now apparently not so I need to navigate it well I could just jump forward to uh, that position to begin with well actually maybe not because the triggers happen on the way so I want to make sure that it works Oh yeah, water ASMR. 
Tempting condition. What are we drinking, open scorch? Alas. Alas. Stupid H2O. y'all. So that's the Cataclysm. 11 gives consumption. Actually, is that working? Yeah. So that's a dead end. So this is just going to bring us back to kind of the default node for this tree here. Um, and I'm just going to update the dialog with little fixes I added. Should clean it up a bit.
Oh great, in the house. Nice. Consumption links need to be a bit better. Well, it was four months past already. Uh, it's every, time's flying so friggin' quickly. So I'll say I don't understand why the cataclysm topic is still showing up. It should be... Not visible. So I'm not sure. Hey J92R, I'm good, how are you? Sorry about the sirens. Did that drop something else? Good, working on music for some game devs right now, but other than that, enjoying the day. It's much cooler today than it was yesterday, so I'm enjoying that before the horrendous heat kicks in. Nice, yeah, there's a, there's a heat wave going on. I'm spared, but apparently everyone else is suffering from it. So, who are you? Drops off. Although, not permanently. Is that just because constant rain in Yorkshire? Nice. <laughs> not nice. Uh, it's the same here. Well, it's not raining, but it's very cloudy.
supposed to be 105 Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius where I'm at. Holy heckerino! That's pretty insane. Something is gubbed in my logic, and I don't know what it is. And that pains me to my core. Joys of living in California. Let's stop the drop, drop, dropping that off. Will any animations be made on stream in the future would be awesome to see. Uh, you mean like actual creation of pixel art? Not really, because um, I don't do any of it. It's just, it's the artist that does that. I do particle effects at most. That's the closest thing we get to animations for me. Fourteen. I think once again we have a little bug here. This isn't too much to ask, but mind telling me about your game? I read the description listed in your panels, but it doesn't seem to expand much on this game, and I'm quite interested in knowing much more about it. A game that functions based on the magic system. That's something quite new compared to a lot of other RPGs I've played. Absolutely. I do not mind. So I've got a bug here. We'll get back to that. Let me show you a little bit about how the system works. So this is one of the early screens, but it's absolutely loaded with enemies. So you see this dude here, he, he's a baddie, um, but it, the game operates on a kind of hybrid of turn-based and real-time. So as long as I stand still and don't do any actions, everything is frozen. But as soon as I start moving, things move as well. So you can kind of, you can make it as live as you want to be, basically. We have a bunch of different spells. So currently I have every single spell in the game unlocked. So it's kind of overwhelming. Uh, and we have a couple of elements that you can combine it with. So it's life, mind, and shadow. So that changes the way the spells behave. So that's most visible in these late stage spells like this one, where life, try and get this guy. This guy's like a late enemy, so he's pretty tricky. So life version of this creates ice spikes like that. Um, if we switch to mind, we get a lightning strike. And that works like that. And if we switch to Shadow, we get a Meteor Shower. Like that. So that's that. Then as you can see, I think it mentions it in the blurb as well. Every spell has got an HP cost listed next to it. So that's intended to slow your roll when it comes to casting spells. Rather than just spamming infinite uh, fireballs, you have to uh, be a bit more strategic about it. Think about which spells to cast. Cost of the spells change dynamically depending on uh, how much you use them. So if I use, say I'm gonna, I'm gonna start spamming the fireball like this, go nuts with it. You see it's gone up to 10, whereas the other versions of this are eight. 
to kind of it starts charging more for spells you use often just to encourage you to to vary it up so that's the basic uh that's the basic system if there's anything you're curious about further please feel free to ask and also thank you very much for the follow effects are great thank you we've got different kind of um Status effects go on as well, that you can apply to the enemies. Persuade is pretty powerful, obviously. Makes enemies fight each other. And then being vulnerable to getting attacked. You can create structures like turrets. I'm already in love with this game. If this doesn't become a bestseller, I'll be extremely disappointed in society. Thank you very much. Well, if you're interested in it, you can wishlist it on Steam. Well, that's not the command. Click save today. That's it. Um, so you've got turrets like this that kind of fire bolts for you. You can um, imbue them with different effects. I can actually I can cast plague on the turret, which now means this turret will have the plague effect linked to it. So if I actually manage to hit this guy, he'll be plagued. I haven't seen a spell system use HP to use. It's a great idea. I I hope it doesn't get annoying because you're too limited. So I'll have to do some balancing to make sure that doesn't happen. But I think it's interesting. Going for my turret. Go for me, go for me. There we go. You get loot. You can collect. I imagine you'll market that feature heavily, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it'll be. I need to make another trailer, basically. So. Um, I need to tell the story of that somehow in the trailer. It's supposed to fix that you can implement some kind of smaller HP regeneration or something. There's a there's an uh, there's a spell, the leech spell. It's pretty minor, but yeah, I need. I think once time stopping is smart too. Thanks. Um, I think I'm going to put it all together, play it see if any particular parts of it feel bad and then see what we can do about it for instance um adding little hp boosts or changing the spells or changing the cost of spells or the damage or whatever just that kind of tweaks i'll be buying this as soon as it comes out awesome that makes me happy so that's leech it gives you a little bit of hp which Obviously, it's quite expensive to just cast that uh, on its own, but if you can get it on a group of enemies, it can really get your health back. Loads of different biomes to explore. I, think I leveled up now, so I don't. I think I might be teleported to the void. If I try to... No, fast traveling is fine. Snow. Solomon75, thank you very much for the follow. Clearly you need to enlist Lily's help on making the trailer. I haven't followed that link, but it, let me guess. It's the... Um, it's the button clicker trailer. That was so funny. How many people are working on this game right now with you? There's two more. Uh, one person's doing the music and one person's doing all the art. And my role is most the plus one to three, yeah. My role is most easily defined as not music, not art, basically. That's what I'm doing. Right. Bug whacking time. I have a suspicion of what is the problem here. And a bit concerned. So that's 12, 8, 14. Yeah. Ok, 
Okay, so whatever fixed I think I did for the HUD dialogue, or the dialogue, sorry, the dialogue HUD uh, didn't take. I thought I fixed it. So. Conditional dialogue options, then the one to four ID used by the HUD won't necessarily correspond to the one to N ID of the dialogue table. So any idea what you plan on selling this at, that way I know how much money I need to put back. Well, it would be, I'll, I'll tell you what my current thoughts are, but I would really appreciate it if you would tell me how much you think it would be reasonable to charge for something like that. I, don't, I know you just started watching and you don't know much about the game, but just like vague ballpark would be appreciated because uh, pricing is pretty tricky and I'm not sure. to 20 depends on how many hours I suppose yeah so it, it will be relatively replayable um, although not as much as some games like Binding of Isaac or like Rogue Legacy that are like you know designed to just be played over and over but you could I would I would expect that someone that really likes the game plays it at least twice because you can you can probably do things quite differently uh, depends on how many hours I'm not sure yet but I do think it will be pretty long longer than I thought it would be like I was originally hoping it would be like four hours, but actually <clears throat> now that I'm getting a grip on just how many areas there are and how much combat there is in quests and stuff, I think it might be more than that. Oof, that's a first. Ask my opinion on a cost. Let's see, based on what I'm seeing, assuming the game is at least a 10 hour playability, I'd say 25 bucks. That's cool. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, so I was currently thinking $15. Um, but I would like to go higher if possible, mainly because the reality of game sales is that well, most of them are on sale. So I would be happy if if I sold every copy at fifteen, I'd be happy with that. But realistically, um, you know, you have to sell everything with a discount, so it wouldn't actually be fifteen bucks. When lower out of the worry that Steam would engulf it if it wasn't a steal. The problem is, if you price it too low, people get a negative image of it. It's just kind of basic perception management. And you'd be tempted to... You'd be tempted to, to price it low to, just to sell lots of copies, but this isn't um, kind of broad appeal game. So just based on that, there's going to be fewer sales than I would... than, than you know, than the market is. So yeah, I'm, I'm toying with the idea of going above $15, but I, I don't know. I don't want to go too high either, because if you go too high, people, people get really, you know, they... I mean, I'm hoping it'll be a good experience, so nobody would have reason to complain, but if you start, if you price something at $50, people expect a lot. I would think, anyway. But yeah, I'm kind of hoping, I'm holding out till the beta to see just how it plays when it's all put together. And then based on that, I'm hoping I can get a better idea of what price to, to ask for. That needs to print before we do that. Well, here's the thing. If you go too low, remember, in this day and age, people pirate everything, so you have to get your money's worth early on before someone rips it out of the Steam store and cracks it. Oh, that, I mean, that will be... It will get pirated immediately, they're just, like... Nothing stopping, stopping anyone. I'm wholly relying on people wanting to support the game. I think it, it will get stolen. Like, just as a matter of, like, fact. <clears throat> Uh, 
since the game that I can see ending up on IGG games. I mean, hell, Crypt of the Necrodancer was already pirated. Isn't like every game pirated? But yeah, like I'm basically I'm relying on. I, and you know, look look at my Twitch stream. You get people here that support me with subs and bits and donations and stuff and that's not for that's just to make the game without like they're supporting me to make the game without even purchasing it so there is a will out there to support people i think and that's why i'm relying on <clears throat> i'm not in an arms race to prevent piracy because i don't think there's a way no because some um, steam games literally will not function with your account unless you actually paid for them oh i didn't know that i wasn't aware of that Reminds me. Oh, Azrael, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Two months. <clears throat> so, what is that print? Selected Grey G1. What? ID in template one. Okay, so that's fair enough. So here, selected degree ID three, ID in template four. Hey, I'm watching from a 31 degree sauna called my room. Does that mean you're naked if you're in the sauna? Just whatever you do, don't make this game internet dependable. That is like the death of gaming interest when a game doesn't need internet to play it, yet still uses the internet for a game to function. So many games I've been wanting to play, but people have made it so these games cannot be played offline, even though there's no use for being connected to internet in the first place. Don't worry about that, that's not happening. Like I say, I'm um, I'm starting from the assumption that if people want to steal it, they'll be able to steal it, so I'm not going to put in annoying things to try and stop them when I don't think I'll be able to anyway, so that's that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping um, if people enjoy this kind of game, they understand that they need to pay for it in order for it to happen again, basically. If nobody buys this, then I won't be able to continue, and that's that. That's, that's I mean, no, that's about as easy as it gets. Um, some people will steal it, there's nothing I can do about that, and I'm not going to hurt my paying customers by uh, putting in defensive measures that I don't believe will work anyway. <clears throat> so it gets me to the right location. Good ID 3, ID in template 4, which I think is right. We're in thing close, that's good. One, two, three, four. Uh huh. So then, why is the target specified wrong? Ah, god damn it. That is so basic. Big games just use DRM since it protects it just long enough in the period they will earn the most around at least. Streams help at least stream helps help well. Streams help, at least people can see where it all came from. Added to that, even when people steal game ideas, you can see their game is just mashed together assets. Exactly. I do think it's it is I really enjoy streaming um, for many reasons. Uh, sometimes it's a slog, but mostly it's a good thing because it connects me with like real people. Like a lot of a lot of my viewers are devs, like me, which is good. Some some viewers are uh, gamers that might buy the game, which is even better because then I'm connected to my uh, 
to the people that actually want my end product and then they can give me feedback and suggestions which is great they can become involved uh, and you know kind of more understand that there's a person behind the game that's a thing I think uh, that's a thing I think is really important in this climate I think there's a lot of negativity between devs and gamers I don't really know why technically I'm a dev but a music dev still works the game only gets cracked two or three days after release because of the DRM, the publisher and developers one. Well, my release isn't going to be that hyped, so, like, way too small for that to matter. Is streaming helpful for dev networking? For sure. I'm really bad at uh, networking in general, but, um, what to say? I mean, I met Watery Tart, who makes the music for this game through streaming on Twitch. I wouldn't have done that if I didn't stream. So that's like, that's massive. Because Warrior Guitar was perfect for this. He's, the music he's made for the game has, has kind of like doubled the quality of it, I think. <clears throat> you say that, but with all the retweets and Facebook posts we do, it will be hyped me. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate whenever people retweet my stuff. It is, marketing is so hard, so I really, really appreciate it. So wait, I, I think I've pushed to fix now, and then try it again. <clears throat> That's probably what was causing issues earlier. So I'm glad it's fixed now. Yeah, excellent. That was a stupid little bug, it was me being sloppy, but it's done now, no need to dwell on it. <clears throat> Marketing was easy, marketing teams wouldn't need to exist. Yeah, that's obviously. But <laughs> I'll just advertise this on all my account pages, that way people know to check it out. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. My brain's really having trouble because of the heat. <laughs> Don't think too hard, it'll start burning. day job to make a game post on reddit always do well um i got scared off doing that I'm, I'm i'm gonna have to like just for trying it out but i saw i saw an imgur a couple of times when you like scrolled into the comments there's like so many people that are so mad oh another glorified ad um and they're so salty about it but i guess i guess they're a minority but yeah it's a pretty common post i guess um People get mad about it, but I kind of, I kind of can't afford not to try it. Does that make sense? <clears throat> I'm so glad to see another game in isometric style. It's been a long time since I've seen a game in this style. That's cool. I mean, yeah, I'm comfortable making games like this. Um, so it's it's good that it appeals to some people. I think that's the key is as a small indie is to find a niche to work in. <clears throat> is there a forum or Discord for def Discord for default? That might be a good place to drop in what you're doing. Yeah, I've, I've got a devlog going on the default forums, and I'm in the default Discord and stuff. Also, a friend posting their friend's work does well. Hi, it's a mind map. Hi, Des. It is a dialogue tree. So I use Twine to create dialogues and then link them together. 
yeah, I've seen that happen as well. But then some people see through that because obviously people have figured that out that it's like, you know, if you post it yourself, you're shamelessly advertising. But if it's a friend doing it, then that's kind of all right. <clears throat> Contact default with a trailer, see if they'll add it to the showcase if they have one. Um, I, th I think they probably would. Uh, I've been on the, I don't know if I am anymore. I think they must have taken me off by now, but I was on the default front page for ages with a link to the Twitch stream. I keep looking at the wrong page here. Um, but the problem is default is pretty small. They don't really have a lot of visibility, I think. Their parent company, King, however, is pretty big, but I doubt that they will do anything to support me like that. <clears throat> I mean, I'll ask, but don't think it'll, anything will come of it. Lastly, see your significant other post about it. It would be huge, I bet. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to force Kat to do it. Dez, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. My husband has worked so hard on this game. I'm so proud of him. Front page material. Also, buy his game so I don't have to support him anymore. That probably... Don't know how much that will do. Smaller ones are more likely to do something to get themselves seen. Use Unity and it's like join the queue behind Square Enix me. Wait, default is free? Yes, it is. is appropriate there. Also need to spawn the enemy. Hey Jeremy, how you doing? Yeah, that's good actually. At the song of healing yes it is let's see it's a remix of it it's the hillian ensemble the song is still eerie yeah it's really good
so we need to set this to the right animation. Number 14. West underscore items fourteen. So I'll do that. I think we should do particle effects for this. Just not sure how. Almost have almost everything I need to interpret myself. Most the compiler got operators for built-in types to work again. Sounds like you're just talking in binary. Pengriel, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. How are you doing? Hey Java. What's new with you? Fun and pure Java game. Is that possible? Going to halt it probably. But you're making a Java game. That looks cool. It's like Doom. That's sound too. version of the self-hosted compiler is going to be slow so use the minimum subset I have but it will compile well print out LLDM IR to text file for now and using LLC to convert that to bike you I literally don't understand a word you're saying something fun like a dungeon crawler. Sure. <clears throat> I wonder if... I wonder if camera shake should be only when time is not frozen. I know and you don't have fun working in Java. Well, yeah, but make your own, making your own engine is fun. You guys are both as bad as each other. <laughs> oh, getting sassy.
Well, that didn't work. Because it doesn't have this component. Gosh darn it. Arr. Wait, did I not create a factory for it? No, I didn't. No wonder it ain't working. I'm kind of thinking to make it some sort of dwarf themed dungeon crawler. To sell or practice or well. No, that doesn't need to be there. It needs to be a wizard. Hello, F me. Good to see you. Hope you're good. Hobby project that it's fun to sell it. Fair enough. Cheap concept, right? This is way too shaky. Okay, so let's go stuff up there. I have some balloons, thank you. I love a bit of screen shake. If in doubt, add more screen shake. My uh, my wife Cat actually uh, was not a fan. I was showing her, and she's like. Uh, I'm feeling nauseous from the screen shake, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna implement a setting that allows you to curtail the screen shake if it makes you nauseous. I think that's probably the best. Alex's balloons, how friggin' dare ya! Yeah. sprites would work. What does that mean? Never, never get tired of the table flipping one. Yeah, it's good. 2D side view sprites. Uh, okay. Well, I just read something on Reddit and it reminded me, yes, we have soldiers with full equipment walking around in Brussels in this heat. Ouch. Still too much. Like that's making me nauseous right now. debug mode here. So actually do we need to range our depth? Yes we do.
Okay, so that is needs a drag, I believe. I've been working on my dream RPG for the last 15, is that years or months? If it's months, I'm gonna be mad. One and a half years, okay. Only another two years to go, that's kind of like me. Also, Jelmega, uh, this looks awesome. Nobody else in the game looks awesome. I'm joking. Can I? I think I should be able to hot reload this. Yeah, so now that's kind of cool in a weird way. That makes it look like it's a sphere. I like that. Which means that the drag has to be uniform. Can I add a little vortex to that, or is that going to make it weird? Looks like I can, yeah. Game doesn't look awesome because you won't. All right, okay. Uh, it's gel mega band. It's goodbye forever. Life of the particles needs to be a bit lower. It's pretty mediocre because it doesn't have lizards. Well, Fate Support has lizards. Gonna implement dank meme Easter eggs. <laughs> hey Waffy, coming in with the big questions. I'll have to see about that. I do have, I do actually have a dank meme Easter egg in already. That like that is genuinely true. this need different sizes well it's already different sizes different alphas maybe these drags are pretty boring unless they're dank memes well there you go actually too much there. I wonder what multiply will do though. Probably makes it invisible. on Reddit to embody.
I don't know who that is. If anyone doesn't know. Oops, I <laughs> reloaded Twitch chat. Nothing of value is lost. I'm joking, I'm joking. Is that still set to alpha? white the particles Big or too many. Who's better here? Constantly shaking when we so we aren't paused basically. Is that too little shake to be detected? Quite annoying if that happens, I might have to lower the threshold for shutting down camera shakes. That's, well, that's doing something at least. I need to add some variability to the park of lifetimes.
Would you have any tips on working from home? It's hard to imagine doing so for the long haul. Um, do you have any specific questions, Big Mac? Are you working from home right now? And what kind of stuff are you doing? And what are you worried about? Listen to the song, keep waiting to hear the menu song. What is this? Lufia and the Fortress of Doom. So is this uh, like a title screen or something? I haven't played Lufia. I like the soundtrack. That's good, that's cool. Thinking of options for the future in a sense, pipe dream stuff at the moment. Well, there's a couple of things. Um, discipline is quite important. Uh, it's obviously very easy to waste time if you're not disciplined. Whatever the reason is, uh, it could be like a discipline. It could be in my in my case, it's more. I think it's more anxiety driven. I procrastinate when I'm worried about doing something in particular. Can get lonely. Uh, I'm quite introverted, so it's not a massive problem for me. And I do Twitch, which is it's not the same as being around people, but it is um, it's a partial substitute for sure because I get to talk to people um, like this. What else? Need to make sure to move enough. That's a problem I've been having. Um, I am feeling much better with my back. I'm doing lots of yoga and stuff, so that's that's helping and I found a good kind of seating sitting posture that's working for me, so that's cool. Um Yeah. Those are the main things that are like things to look out for. And they don't really have an easy solution necessarily. Procrastination was tough to deal with, but I've managed, but it's not, you know, there's no, there's no sim simple answer to it. Like for me, it was just kind of like work through your anxieties. It's hard, but I'm like, I'm happy to answer like specific questions. If you have any, I can only provide vague stuff. It's, it is really good, but it definitely has its downsides. People tend to get used to whatever situation they're in. Like you have a baseline level of happiness. So like, you know, it's easy to take things for granted. So it's really good to work from home because I can, um, see you later, Jamega. I can do stuff like you know I can be in to receive par parcels I can um, you know go to the dentist without asking anyone for permission or do run some errand or whatever that's great but you take it for granted it takes like two weeks and you're used to it so Was knowing when you've done enough work for the day would be weird. So I'm kind of naturally bounded by having Kat. She'll come home from work and she, you know, she wants attention, which is good because that kind of creates a natural point of stopping for me. Um, now that she's gone, I don't have that. Um, but I kind of need to crunch anyway. So I'm leaning into it and taking the opportunity to just work as much as possible. It'll always be accessible to do more, yeah. I don't necessarily think it's bad to work a lot if you're enjoying it or need to, but it can be. Um, click tracker.
think object. I don't know if that worked. It did reload, but... No, it doesn't seem to have created it. Item? It's just the click tracker type that's causing the issue. range down a bit so we're gonna say like that just to make sure that you have to be a little bit away from the stone before I don't want you to cheese it Well, 
let's just for consistency call this self. Quack man, I did. I'm good, how are you? I am also good. I'm about to finish soon because I need to go to the gym. Uh, but that feels good. down again. today this little this little dude well I did I did fix a really important bug that I wasn't aware was an issue so that is kind of important I'm looking for someone to sub to to raid yeah Did you got any suggestions Jeremy Like not necessarily the remix itself, but the song, the underlying song is. Blob <laughs> and Amazon or Indie Harder. Let's uh, repay the favor to Blob. He raided a couple of days ago. And he always works on amazing stuff, so let's go for that. Um, Alright, did you make the sound effects and music for your game? Hey Bite Man, I missed you there. Um, I So music is done by Watery Tart, who sometimes is in chat. Uh, sound effects, I have bought some packages uh, and got some free stuff as well and then I apply some modifications to it, but I'm like a, like an audacity amateur, basically. Um, 
I, you know, I, I know a couple of tricks to to make things sound a little bit different, but not not pro by any means. So I'm kind of janking together the sound effects on my own. All right, so for today, thank you very much to Crass for the big old raid. Thank you to Azrael for the sub. Lots of new followers, new people. That's always cool. Um, so thank you everybody for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I plan on streaming again tomorrow, which will be the last stream of the week. I'm going to visit my wife. She's away working and she's really stressed. So I'm going to go down to near London to give her a visit. Uh, hopefully lift her spirits. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully catch you tomorrow. Have an excellent day and see you in Blob's stream.